It's awkward being a pirate. If you go out in public to film videos about peg-legged pirates, people never seem to notice the camera and just assume you're either eccentric or don't know what day it is. Halloween was six months ago. When I first went out as a pirate, it happened to be Halloween, which was great. You see, I'm a bit of a goody two-shoes. Minus the second shoe. Doing crazy things in public isn't my idea of fun, but it doesn't feel so crazy if other people are doing weird things too. Namely, putting on wigs while begging strangers to put candy into plastic pumpkins. My eccentricity was camouflaged by the host of other people masquerading as princesses and the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. My kid was terrified of that marshmallow costume. It gave him nightmares. What the marshmallow man? Anyhow, the real awkwardness didn't set in until the day after Halloween, when I was still in pirate mode. I don't wear a peg leg in real life, but I am a YouTuber, and doing weird things goes with a job. Turns out that there's a grace period. If you go out on a peg leg on November 1st, people just chalk it up to lingering Halloween spirit and assume you're just giving your cool costume one last hurrah before shoving it in the back of the closet for a year. But if you're still wearing the aforementioned peg leg on Valentine's Day, you're going to get some weird looks. I wanted to make a series of shorts about the peg-legged pirate's New Year's resolutions. For that, I needed to go to a gym. I selected a location, then asked the manager for permission to film myself using some of the equipment. She generously said yes and thought that concluded the matter. But I had one more request to make. Would it be alright if I did it whilst dressed as a pirate? Doing silly things in front of the camera in the privacy of my own home is one thing. Doing them in a public gym is quite another. I aimed for the slowest time of day, when the gym would be the emptiest. When I stepped peg inside, let's just say a few heads turned. I put on a brave face and pretended to be perfectly at ease with my piratey persona, but inside I was dying of embarrassment. I hid behind that persona like a mask. Today, I wasn't Stefanina. I was a pirate, and pirates are afraid of nothing. With false confidence as my only support, I proceeded to film, much to the amusement of the other gym goers. One lady in particular was very impressed and kept chatting with me, which made it hard to film, but I did appreciate the friendliness. With limited time in which to film, I tried to go through the motions to get the footage I needed while still listening to her. She hadn't noticed the camera. All this time that she'd been talking about loving what I was doing, I thought she meant making videos. Turns out she just loved that I had embraced my amputeeism to the point of turning pirate. That was pretty funny. Fencing as a pirate was a similar experience. Asking people if I can film never fails to make me self-conscious, but the follow-up question about filming as a pirate is the real kicker. Here again, I was graciously given permission. Turns out that swashbuckling in costume is way less awkward than hitting the gym. The two elements, swords and pirates, are thematically compatible. Die! No. Die! My favorite moment was when the instructor tried not to walk in front of the camera and instead army crawled across the room. Guess he didn't notice he was right in front of the GoPro. It was beautiful. Another pirate adventure occurred when I went to the park, hoping it was empty, only to find it infested with children. To make matters worse, I didn't realize I was getting sick. By the time I'd packed up my gear and pedaled my bike to the park and donned my coat and wig, I'd lost my voice. Not only was I a pirate, but I was a pirate surrounded by curious children asking questions that I was physically incapable of answering. Are you a real pirate? I think it's funny that my peg-legged pirate doesn't talk in videos, but being a mute pirate in real life is way less fun. Especially when my husband swatted a co-worker and introduced me. Felt a tad self-conscious. But I pressed on. When I got home, I was so sick. I went from feeling fine to having a 105 fever in record time. I collapsed on the bed without bothering to take off the pirate makeup. It was the least fun pirate day ever. Being a pirate is less awkward when I ditched the red coat and wig and just wear the peg leg, which explains how I ended up at my daughter's physical therapy appointment one day. Her physical therapist didn't bat an eye, as if it was the most natural thing in the world to have a pirate on board. The plan was to have my daughter bike around the hospital. I realized, to my chagrin, that there was no way I'd be able to keep up on foot, singular. So I commandeered a second trike and set sail. 
Thus far, there had been no awkwardness. It was hard to get going on the trike with my peg, but as long as I stuck by the therapist, no one else in the hallways gave me weird looks. It's like he possessed a mystical anti-awkwardness force field. Things were going swimmingly, until my daughter instigated an impromptu game of hide and seek. My daughter and her therapist vanished from sight and the anti-awkwardness force field instantly collapsed. I was left alone on a tricycle at the peg leg, trying to look like a responsible adult as I searched the hospital for nearly an hour in search of my lost child. Put yourself in my shoe. How would you feel in those circumstances? I'm sure there are people who went home that day and told their family, Honey, guess what I saw today? A pirate with a peg leg on a tricycle in the hospital. No one will ever believe them. As I pedaled the lonely halls of the hospital, I reflected on my life choices, wondering how I managed to get myself into these bizarre situations. Someday when I'm 90, I'm going to have the craziest stories to tell my grandkids. And the nice thing is that they'll have to believe me, because I have video footage, even if I like actual footage. If you want to see some of those crazy stories, I'll link them here. Sometimes being a pirate is awkward, but you know what? Maybe it's good to periodically push past the comfort zone. It's given me practice overcoming self-consciousness and doing things I initially didn't want to do, which are good life skills. Not only do these peg-legged adventures make for fun stories on and off camera, but maybe it brought a smile to someone's face when they're having a bad day. That makes it all worth it. So whether you're laughing or rolling your eyes, thank you for joining me on my amputee adventures.